Hello and welcome to the Zenva AWS Node Deployment course. My name is Alex Valorosi and I'm going to be taking you through today the steps of basically starting up and launching an AWS EC2 instance and then deploying your Node.js application to that EC2 instance. So we already know how to basically develop a Node.js application on our local computer. However, the next step is actually launching that on a server on the internet so that we can access it from a website um, or from an iPhone app, say if you're building an API, for example. So the purpose of this video today is to show you how to get started with AWS, an introduction to the AWS dashboard, and how to spin up an EC2 instance, as well as connect to it from your local computer. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is head over to aws.amazon.com. We can get started by clicking sign into the console. Since I already have an account, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And normally, what you would do is basically just select that you'd like to create a new account. And then from there, you would enter some personal details such as your phone number, your address and email, and then a billing, uh, some billing information. Okay, however, I already did that process, um, you know, as I would not like to reveal that information on camera. So you can just go ahead and do that and it will take you right into the AWS dashboard, which we see here. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is select in the upper right hand corner, a region for your server. Now typically this will be, if you're just a hobbyist, maybe the one that's closest to your present location, um, or it could be closest to your most you know, dense user base. So let's say for example, I'm located in uh, New York, so I might choose Northern Virginia, as I believe that's the closest server to my current location. So from the drop down menu on the left, we can select EC2, and that's gonna be the base, basis of the server that we're going to use uh, for our project. You can select this blue button here to launch your instance. And now we're gonna go through the configuration. So what it's showing here is basically what distribution you would like to use to install on the server, which basically uh, allows you to, you know, use Linux or even they have, uh, I believe, Windows Server, yeah, Microsoft Windows Server available. Um, so I'm going to use the one that's most comfortable for me, and you can go ahead and do the same if you are more familiar with one or another type of distribution of Linux or uh, Windows Server or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Ubuntu Server 16.04. Great. Now, uh, for the next step of the configuration, you're gonna wanna select the one that's free tier eligible. So I would assume that most of us are hobbyists, um, just kind of like looking to build or launch some kind of application, or maybe you're looking to do, build a minimum viable product for a startup. And for most purposes, the free tier will be more than enough to accommodate our application. In the future, if you would like to expand your server, you can always do that. So you can feel comfortable to select the free tier for now and then review and launch your server. Just taking a look at the details. Nice, okay. We're gonna have a little bit to do with security groups in a minute once we try to actually access the server. Go ahead and launch. Right, so now what it's prompting us to do here is to select an existing key pair or to create a new one. So we don't have any existing key pairs, so we're going to have to create a new key pair. Okay, and the purpose of the key pair is so that only you or only the owner of the key pair file can actually SSH into the server. So uh, basically that means that if somebody else gets a hold of the uh, IP address or the public URL of, the, of your server, they can't just access it using an SSH command. They're gonna to have to actually 
have control of this key pair. So you want to keep this very secure and safe on your local machine whenever you want to access your server. So we'll call this one Zenva demo and we'll download key pair. Great. Now we can launch our instance. Okay, awesome. So now that our instance is launching, uh, we can go ahead and take a look at it by clicking that link there. Great, and now our instance state is pending and we're just gonna wait for it to successfully start up. In the meantime, if you ever need help with something like um, you know, AWS, like for example, let's say you run into some kind of bug or something like that, you can always access the uh, AWS documentation within the management console. Um, there's a ton of helpful tips here on the right um, and also some tutorials down here below in the learn to build section. Another thing that I find very useful when debugging problems with AWS or in general is Stack Overflow. So you can visit at stackoverflow.com and you can search for any questions. So for example, let's say I have an AWS deployment issue. Let's just search for it. 